This is Dan Aziz coming out of the Cool Box Gym, the future of the heavyweight division. Big old sporting icon. Make sure you follow and subscribe. So Adrian Broner versus Jesse Vargas, that was a pretty good fight. Um, the result was a draw. Uh, one judge had Adrian Broner winning it by two rounds and the other two had a draw. Personally, I think Jesse Vargas won that fight literally just. But I mean, I can't argue with it in all fairness because there were some swing rounds, certainly. Uh, but I do feel that Jesse Vargas won that fight. Um, these guys are kicking off in the ring. Uh, neither of them are unhappy about the draw, uh, but anyway, it was a pretty good fight. Um, I think Adrian Broner gave away the first couple of rounds, certainly gave away the last couple of rounds, and I felt that Broner needed to win the last round to, you know, just potentially get a draw out of it. But anyway, I can't disagree with it. Um, I felt that Jesse Vargas was the busier. He was landing the most shots. Um, Adrian Broner, he looked the most composed, he looked the more technical fighter, and he looked more in control. But, you know, that that's not how fights are won. You win fights by landing the most amount of punches and winning the most amount of rounds. And for me, that's what Jesse Vargas did. But anyway, I'm not going to complain about a draw. Um, it's a pretty fair result, I suppose. Um, but Adrian Broner is just nowhere near as good as what he used to be now jesse vargas is a solid operator he's very very good i mean obviously former wbo world champion at welterweight uh but i don't know adrian broner i mean he was showing some flashes of what he used to do he was a bit more aggressive in this one than what he was against mikey garcia i just feel that he's just not really with it no more I know he's just got a new trainer. He said that this is the best camp that he's had since he was 10 years old. And there ain't no way he's losing to no Jesse Vargas. Well, for me, mate, you lost. That's just my opinion. But if this is the best that he could do, he's in a world of trouble, man. I'm, I'm not sure we're ever going to see Adrian Brown as world champion again. But ultimately, time will tell. I mean, but the fight itself was pretty interesting, no doubt. Um, Jesse Vargas did get a cut on the left eye um, earlier on in the fight. Um, it didn't really hinder him too much. It's only really towards like a, the last quarter of the fight maybe that Jesse Vargas was starting to slow down a bit. You could see that um, Adrian Broner was starting to get through. But the problem with Broner is that he was losing three quarters of a lot of the rounds but then finished strong. And just finishing strong and doing nothing for two and a half minutes isn't enough to win a round for me. But maybe it is for the judges, who knows. But either way, for me, a draw, I can't really argue with it. But Adrian Broner, back to the drawing board, buddy, because that ain't good enough. That's just my opinion, it ain't good enough. Um, of course, he didn't lose his 300 grand bet with, uh, was it Takeshi, whatever his name is. So, either way, he didn't win, he didn't lose, but... That is what it is. But overall, pretty good fight. Both of them put up a pretty solid display. For me, as I said, Jesse Vargas just edged it. But either way, drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you next video.